This video is about uh, using models uh, in, ASP, uh, in Angular. So when you come from, an, um, from ASP.NET or from C Sharp Microsoft, then you have classes uh, and models. So each, uh, everything, what you use, a table or something like this is always in a class and this class is as a, used as a model. So you know what's uh, inside your, uh, your data set. And now when you change to uh, front end technologies to uh, Angular or to uh, Vue and all the other stuff React, then uh, you may change this stuff. Uh, it's uh, you, uh, you try always, uh, I tried to take, to create a model like an MVC model, so model, and from this model, everything goes out. So I had a class in there. I typically use the class and there is a constructor in there inside. And uh, it, I, I try to make, make it the same way as it is in, um, in my an ASP uh, application. So, but this doesn't work. So I, I my in interest was that um, that I wanted to have TypeScript um, IntelliSense uh, all around. So I created this uh, export class or a class and uh, with this previous ex export, so it's available all around. Uh, but this doesn't work uh, in Angular. In Angular, as soon as you do something like this, you create a, a model, then you have a service, for example, the service uh, embeds this um, this model. It embeds this stuff, and then uh, it, for example, in my case, I'm uh, using a HTTP and take my uh, all my results from my um, from my website from Web API. So I thought, okay, when I have it, then I will do a map at least a map and then uh, my results which come from the from the API will be uh, uh, transmitted to or uh, transformed to my my class which is in there uh, in here I've not used it anymore no it's not he in here anymore uh, here from the response in the response or some somewhere else I have now here time my class is called time record and uh, these time records I thought they are translated into this class but this w never works in in uh, in angular you are not using the uh, even if you get it running it will not work and you don't have you have uh, all around in your typescript files you have these uh, in you have your uh, you have this IntelliSense. So when you are here inside, for example, and using in your model a class or um, what you should use is an interface. The class always says you have to define your values in a class like this. And if you change to the new way to in, in Angular and, and so on, you use an interface interface and you don't uh, you don't it's the, the interface is only there at uh, developing time let's say like this and uh, now when I save this and I use it here in my stuff then I still have the uh, here my my response is of type of this class and now of this uh, model in as an interface so I have here response, for example, and then when I use IntelliSense, it's here uh, available in my TypeScript files. And in there it's, it is. But as soon as you go from your TypeScript file to your HTML outer file where you are uh, using that stuff here in, where is it here? In my component, I have the same. I'm. I take my stuff from there and say, okay, here is my my list or table or something like this of of the type uh, time records, 
and then I'm jumping outside to the HTML where the front, the real front end is. And as soon as, soon as you say, okay, uh, make in a loop one record set of this type, then you sh we should expect to have something like there and but it's not there. There's no IntelliSense uh, because it's, it is not there. That's the point. And so you have to, uh, you have to look that up in your file. So now I jump this out. Now my, my web front end is running and you see inside my web front end, I have my, or my API, I have this class and this class is pushed as a JSON uh, object to my to my client. Now when I jump in there and use my ng surf and ng surf will run. Now is it running or not? It's building its stuff. And as soon as it's building its results, then we will have this result and this is a small list and inside there is my list and when c control i you will see this uh, this is all saved i refresh it and now it's there and as you see there was a second uh, value in there and when i do something wrong this value will be away a there's no intellisense in here there's no intellisense in in here in my model if you if i do something here's my model here's some details and i'm not able to use the details in here if i write details i'm saving it then it's still not there because i have to watch my uh, results here in my control i somewhere there in somewhere there we have the results and now we go to the network now to the uh, console where was it I have to look it up uh, unfortunately I don't know it at the moment where my result is uh, oh, here we have it uh, I go to my sources and from my sources I will see what's coming in in my uh, in my file so this is my sources and now when you drill down from this from the sources and then you go to the web pack that's what's the active stuff is outside and then you will drop uh, drill down here from this dot go to source then you will find all your uh, angular stuff and now when we go to the output here's my output and uh, I refresh my source then I will see here in runtime uh, a lot of stuff on the right side and we will jump there to the scope and inside the scope we find this ctx and inside ctx we have the ng4 off and now we see these are the results which come uh, as a record set in there and now what we have to do is, as you see, uh, we have here uh, some values like date start, date end, uh, project. And also, uh, no, in this case, there's no details. No details here anymore. Ah, here is details and it's in smaller uh, letters. So we have to copy that. And when we go to our file, we have to write it in a lower case. I save it and and now I see the values will come there so I'm refreshing this one stop we don't need it anymore and I refresh it now you see those values again so what I wanted to say is that we don't have IntelliSense in there so the results will come in and they are translated. So this is my output and the output comes from this uh, service from my component which connects to the service and inside there what we have there we go to the service the service is here the service says there is a map and it's mapping the response of type and in this case it's not a class anymore it's an interface that's what we see now 
and the interface is there uh, at um, JavaScript, TypeScript, at runtime. It's just there's no um, no creator anymore here. You don't have it to use as a new value or as a create or static. It's simply there as an interface um, in developing time, let's say like this. And so uh, the final the conclusion is that when you work with Angular or with, a with those uh, front-end technologies, you don't have classes in there.